Yo, hello, hello everybody, welcome. So, um, today I want to discuss the, my opinion and my standpoint of what I think about Arena Breakout. And also, um, what I think about Tarkov right now. First of all, let me start like this. I made a, I made a video like one month ago where I said I will es I escape Tarkov and I actually don't enjoy it anymore. And I think I made um, a video one month ago. I will post it down in the description. I said there what is went wrong with Tarkov that is going down to shit, that it's um, gonna die soon. I said that as well. But then again, I mentioned that I really enjoy the game and it's my favorite game since 2020 now. And now let's get to the topic. We have this new game coming out. It was like one month, one week ago, like a beta only of Arena Breakout Infinite. And that is a um, mobile game for a couple of months now, for one year, I think, or something like that, maybe six months. And this game is like, this video here is my standpoint, what I think about the game and why I think I will not play it anymore. <laughs> and I will get to that in a second. So, um, first of all, this is this is the introduction right now. I, I've been playing Taco for four years now. I have 5,200 hours. I, I, I actually played the shit out of the game. I played every single day. But then again, let's come to the topic. I love Tarkov. I love the other state games. I know they fucked up what they did in a couple weeks ago. Um, with the addition, with the EOD and all that shit, they scammed us. We all hated them for that. I have to say that. But then again, we still love them because they put out the best FPS game ever made in the creation of video games, in my opinion. So we have to give them props. Okay, so let me start with Arena Breakout Infinite, the Chinese escape from Tarkov. No, no, no offense to any country here. I'm just mentioning it because it comes from China. All right. So let me talk about what I instantly did not like. And you gotta know I'm a really, really, f I'm a fanboy of Tarkov. Okay. So when I opened the game, matter of fact, let me do it right now. Let me open it. This video is going to be long. I'm going to separate the parts down low and you can skip if you want. Um, but matter of fact, let me open the game right now. Because what I want to tell you is, I know I make a big uh, secret out of this shit and I will tell you this and this, but I'm just speaking from heart. From my soul. Um, when I first, um, when I first opened Arena, um, I instantly thought Arena Breakout Infinite, because we also have EFT Arena, of course. I instantly thought, bro, how is it possible that a game developer studio like Infinity, Infinite, Infinity, Infinite, what's their studio called? Infinite, um, is possible, is allowed to copy one by one. All right. Some of you might say, well, there are copies of other games, but then again, I'm opening the game right now and I will show you step by step. This video is probably going to go really long. Um, okay, so I have nothing against competition. I have nothing against... We have PUBG, we have Apex Legends, we have Warzone, we have H1Z1 in the battleground area. And in the survival genre, gen, like uh, in the survival kind of games, is Escape from Talk of the Goat. And I got to tell you, I was really mad... I was really mad, me personally, as a escape from talk of lover and joyer, when I saw how they copied it. Because, yes, you can copy some factors of a game, but in my opinion, what what Arena Breakout did, and I'm coming to the positive part soon. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the game. I do enjoy the game. I do like the game, Arena Breakout, this game right here. But when you go to storage, so how do I say this? Like, for example, PUBG has a different menu. PUBG ha has a different menu than Apex Legends, a different layout, a different UI. And Arena Breakout Infinite has everything exactly like Tarkov in here. And I don't like that. You know why? Because I love Tarkov. I love the OG of this game. Then again, I have to say, this game is fun. There are some factors which are better than EFT, and this is only a marketing structure. So what Infinite, Infinite did, I, I actually think I don't even want to play this game that much anymore or, because I don't want to support it. It's a good game. It's fun. I said it. But look at it. Like, everything is one by one just like EFT. Load ammo, sell, search, linked search. Like, every 
every little thing is just like EFT. Everything. And in my opinion, better sit games should go against this. Because probably this is not a lawsuit available. Or any, 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 uh, like, you can't do probably anything against this. But it's exactly the same. And when I first saw this, I was a little bit mad. I was actually really mad. And I was desperate that a studio is doing that. Everything is the same. You, you mod a gun, it's the same. I personally have a problem against this. Because it's, there can be competition, guys. But you cannot, you should not copy one by one in my opinion that is my opinion and this is why i don't like this game as much as i would probably like it because it's copying and i don't like if people copy especially from a such a good game like escape from tarkov because they saw how much success it had and bro then again they want tarkov to go down you know nikita had a bad spot nikita had a bad spot one sec i will show you that in a second um they want tarkov to go down that's the that's the goal. I don't want that. As a as a talk of enjoyer, you don't want it. I made the video. I will post it down in the description when I said it's gonna die. But I don't want it. I want talk of to be a good game. I want talk of to be stay there because we enjoy it. But it it has gone in a wrong direction. But what Breakout Infinite is doing is it's trying to smash talk of, and I don't like that. Let me find the tweet when they posted the. Uh, the shit, the shit talk against each other. You know who actually started? You know who actually started that shit talk? It was not Battlestate Games. No, it was not Battlestate Games. Everybody was saying, how can Battlestate Games go bash against Arena Breakout Infinite? But then again, here it is, I found it. Okay. So everybody was bashing. I'm, I'm talking about Arena Breakout right now. I will come to Battlestate Games soon and, and uh, talk off. Have a nice 20 minutes adventure in the blatant plagiarist game, which it is, in and out. But everybody was bashing Battlestate Games for posting this without realizing that this one right here was posted before their post, before Battlestate Games post. So they are bashing Battlestate Games, taking an all homeless shooter looter, which means homeless shooter looters are people which loved Tarkov and are not playing right now. So they want to take the community of Tarkov. They want to. They want Tarkov to die so they can get money. It's all about money, guys. With a big wave goodbye to Tarkov today. Look how they are bashing our favorite game, bro. I am not supporting this game any longer. I will actually probably uninstall it <laughs> because they hate my favorite game. All right, we're here to welcome to to Kamona, Cam whatever that is. That's the place actually. Escape from Tarkov. Obviously, they mean Tarkov. Welcome to Kamona. No, I'm actually escaping this shit game. Okay, it's not a shit game, it's a good game. But if you copy from a masterpiece, it's obviously gonna be good. <laughs> so, then again, um, yeah. It's just a copy and pasta. Everything here, the market is a copy and pasta. Everything is exactly the same. Then again, people say you can do that. It's a lot. It probably is. But it's weak. It is weak, guys what they did and that's why i'll not support this you can pick a scav you can take your pmc and uh, there's no insurance there's no insurance that's the difference there's no insurance we have a safe container you have to pay for this is also different the keychain holder everything is the same the filter everything organizer wish list like everything is exactly the same quick equip is different the message system is the same um kind of uh, you get your items from a market you get your you, you have your friends down here, exactly the same. You can like them, you can't do that in Tarkov. Recommended you don't have that in EFT, you don't have that. You don't have a global chat in EFT, which is also different. There are tiny little things, but the major things are stolen and ripped off of EFT. So they can make it die. So I will not support this game anymore. Um, then again, let me talk what I like about this game. Obviously, I like the factors, which makes... It easier than EFT, for example, the quick heal with we. Uh, there are so many things which are easier than in Tarkov. For example, what else is there? You, I don't know. There are so many. You you can revive your teammates, which is better. You you don't have inertia. You can reload your max while walking. There are so many things which Tarkov is not doing, and these things make this thing a. Uh, Good game. It's not a better game. Tarkov is the better game. You know why? Tarkov is the OG. 
it has been in the scene forever. Then again, I have to say, this game right here is fun. The gameplay mechanics are different because it's built on a different engine as well. The gun gun parts are probably stolen as like as crazy. Like they are probably stolen. The guns they are exactly the same. Uh, they are the same data files, by the way. Um, so what can I say? I wanted to say something. I wanted to say China is Chinese uh, developers did something they can do do good. They steal off other masterpieces like with um, other things. But I'm not hating on the game. I'm just saying I don't support this game any longer. It's fun. It was fun. I hope them. I hope they have a good time. I hope they don't keep stealing stuff from from masterpieces, because we all love Tarkov. Um, I made the video. I escaped, like one month ago or two months ago. I'm still playing the game. I'm playing less than I used to one year ago, but I will not stay. I will not stop playing Tarkov. I will stop playing this copycat uh, right here. This is my personal feedback about this game everything is the same 440 health endurance energy hydration i could keep going on and on everything is the same the layout of the of the menu is apparently not the same which makes sense it's more of a of a new modernized menu talk of is a strict like like simple menu like that's what i love about nikita like he's just simple he's just um he's old school like he doesn't want to go with the commercial things he doesn't want pay to win things he doesn't want um in-game items to be bought i know he fucked up on the situation he scammed us a little bit there the price was ridiculous as well um but then again i have to say this game is a copy of tarkov it's a good game it's fun of course it's good because it's a copy the in-game mechanics feel great there's not a lot of desync sometimes you lag a little bit longer in the menu is laggy I enjoy the game, but I will stick to my original wife. And you know who, who that is. That is definitely Escape from Tarkov. <laughs> I call it like I call it a wife because I have not played anything else for four fucking years. Okay, so um, yeah, this is my little feedback. I wanted to talk about some more things. I actually forgot some things here. Um, this is kind of the outro now. Enjoy the game. My my final take on this is, guys. Don't bash on people who enjoy Tarkov. Don't bash on people who got the Unheard Edition. Don't bash on people who like to play this game. Because everybody can play what they want. Um, while I have this shit game open right now, I will go full screen cam. Um, then again, enjoy this game. Enjoy Tarkov. I hope you have good rates. I hope you found a bunch of keycards in the last couple of days when Nikita came up with the six use. Uh, to bring the events android wipe android next wipe i hope we have a release of the game soon and maybe connected maps and maybe everything nikita promised for the last six seven years i know we are pissed off at him a little bit bro but um they made promises and i think that is the i think the biggest problem of battle state games is they make a lot of promises which they can't keep up with or they bring them too late and that is the big issue why people are getting pissed off about talk of um it's still the best game on the market, still up till today, even if I bash on it as well. It's a love and hate relationship. Um, but matter of fact, matter of fact, I would much rather play Tarkov than this game right here. It was fun. It was fun. I got a key really, really early on the, the second day actually of the beta. And will I play it again? Maybe I will play it again to try and see if it made some changes. They will definitely not change this right here. Um the stash and all that shit because they stole that so <laughs> they cannot change that um yeah i mean what else is there to say go on labs get cheated on get reddit on <laughs> and yeah get audio get talk off keep playing the game if you want to keep playing this game play some different games play what you want don't bash on people who enjoy different things man this is just my take. This is just my feedback. What I think about the current situation. Uh, yeah, pretty much I'm signing out here. I'm probably going to hop into some raid soon and try to find some more key cards. All right, guys, take it easy and I will see you guys in the raids. Bye bye. Peace. <laughs>